Dear President, dear Congress, ladies and gentlemen, all football friends, as a young girl, I took my football everywhere, also to bed every night. The ball smelled so bad that even my cat leapt from the pillow. An orange-colored football for playing on snowy gravel fields. A 13-year-old dreaming about mastering the ball, escaping the fear of not fitting in. Eventually, I got to represent my country doing what I love the most. Also, on the greatest stage of all dreams, the FIFA World Cup. Later, working as a lawyer and a judge, football was often the only thing I could talk to a client or an accused about when facing grave criminal charges. In desperate times, football can be the only common language. Our game can inspire dreams and break down barriers, but as leaders, we must do it right, to the highest standards. Last year, Norway debated boycott of the World Cup in 2022. Instead, our members voted at Congress for dialogue and pressure through FIFA as the best way to work for changes. And our members do demand change. They, questions, they question the ethics in sport and insist on transparency. They are getting organized and ready to make their voices heard. And we must listen. We cannot ignore the calls for change and how FIFA run the game has so much to say for how football is perceived in every confederation and in every association. FIFA must act as a role model. I'm here now as Norway's first female football president, humble to speak in front of you. I no longer take the ball with me everywhere, but my dreams are still about football. Football where boys and girls, all colors, straights and queers, everyone is treated with equal respect and recognition. In 2010, World Cups were awarded by FIFA in unacceptable ways with unacceptable consequences. Human rights, equality, democracy, the core interest of football were not in the starting 11 until many years later. These basic rights were pressured on to the field as substitutes, mainly by outside voices. FIFA has addressed these issues, but there is still a long way to go. The migrant workers injured or families of those who died in the build-up to the World Cup must be cared for. FIFA, all of us, must take all necessary measures to really implement change. FIFA has recognized its responsibilities under the UN Guiding Principles for Human Rights and now includes human rights criteria for future World Cup hosts. It is vital that the current leadership continue wholeheartedly in this way, truly moving from policy to impact. There is no room for employers who do not secure the freedom and safety of World Cup workers. No room for leaders that cannot host the women's game. No room for hosts that cannot legally guarantee the safety and respect of LGBTQ plus people coming to this theater of dreams. I pledge that the Norwegian FA and I personally will support every initiative that safeguards the core interest of football, human rights, and promotes diversity and anti-discrimination. This is also supported by our friends in the other Nordic football associations. We have a brutal war in Europe now. As in all wars on all continents, innocent people are being killed in meaningless fights for power. A previous World Cup host has invaded another country, another member. Initially, FIFA hesitated. International pressure for forced re-election. FIFA must lead. I fear our stadiums will be empty in the future if we overlook the urgency of the current moment. And the time to act is now. FIFA, all of us, must do what we are tasked to do, to lead, to have sustainable values govern every decision, 
truly implement transparency, zero to tolerance towards corruption, accelerate the growth of the women's game. FIFA must set the tone and lead their president, their Congress. I'm new here, and the girl with the orange ball has come far from home. I often get asked, how is it to work in a man's world? And I always answer, I don't. I do not work in a man's world. Football belongs to all girls and all boys in the world. So I truly share your belief that ours is indeed the beautiful and global game. So let us stand together and live up to the promise and dreams we give to everyone who takes that first kick of the ball. Thank you for the time and thank you for the attention, Mr. President.